everyone, my name is Omari Anthony Adams White, and today my dad will be discussing the combination of black seed and honey as it relates to SARS to coronavirus 19. Welcome back, and today, as Omari stated, we're going to talk about the value of black seed and honey as it relates to COVID 19. First of all, I wanna say that black seed has been used all around the world for different uh, illnesses, but there was a major study that looked at black seed and honey and its effect on COVID-19. So there was a um, randomized double-blinded controlled study done um, back around April, uh, April to July. And remember, this was a time when there was a lot of people that were dying of COVID-19. And researchers all over the world were trying to run studies and looking at different treatments. And there was just a lot of experimental things going on in the, around the world to try to figure out how can we stop this COVID-19 um, or what could we do? Well, there was one study that was done that looked at the combination of black seed and honey versus placebo. And, and this study was done on um, patients that were severe, severely affected in the hospital and that were dying. And so we, they were looking at the mortality rate in these patients if they were given different medications, how if, if they were dying sooner or quicker, um, if you gave them different medications. And so I want to look at that in detail and just kind of and talk about the outcome of that study. So we're looking at the table, and in this table, we have placebo and we have medication. And remember, this, these were severe patients and we're looking at the death rate of the patients. Okay, so if we look at hydroxychloroquine, we remember when we had a lot of talk about hydroxychloroquine, and I believe President Trump said to take it and other people were saying not to take it. There was a lot of uh, talk about that. But if you look on the table and you look at uh, hydroxychloroquine in these severe cases, 27% 25% with the placebo. So actually, there was a little bit higher death rate with, with the hydroxychloroquine compared to really not giving the patients anything. Next, if you look at the antivirals, the death rate dropped a little bit. So in other words, the antivirals did help. 19.2% versus 25% with the placebo. The death rate did drop a little bit. When you look at convalescent plasma, and remember what convalescent plasma is, is taking the plasma from a patient who's been infected and who has developed antibodies, and then putting that into a patient who is severely infected in the hospital on the ventilator, we think they're gonna die. And the whole point of that is we want to get the antibodies from a person that's been infected and did well and give that to the person that's died. And you can see that in the convalescent plasma group, it did drop the mortality or the death rate down to 15.7 versus 24% in the placebo group. When you look at uh, remdesivir, which is another antiviral medication, we see that it dropped the, it dropped the death rate down from 11.4 for the antiviral and the placebo was still about 25% of the people died. You look at the steroids, and of course there was a lot of talk in the media about should you give steroids, should you not give steroids, when should you give steroids, and you can see there clearly that the, the people that got steroids, fewer people died with the steroids versus placebo. Now, the, the point of this table, and this is the whole point of this black seed honey combination. The patients that were given the black seed and honey versus the placebo, the death rate dropped down to 4% versus 18.8% in the placebo. Pretty significant and impressive information there. 4% of the people died when they were given that combination of black seed and honey. So the most active ingredient in black seed is thymoquinolone. It decreases the 
the respiratory symptoms that a person may be experiencing. Uh, they found that their pulmonary function tests were better and their breathing was better. And that was attributed to this thymoquinolone that is an active, it's the most active ingredient in the black seed. It also, and this isn't any new, this isn't new information, uh, thymoquinolone also decreases the activity of cancer cells. That's been known for a long time. Second uh, ingredient is uh, the antiviral effect of both uh, black seed and honey. You know, the viruses go inside our cells and they kind of take over our machinery and make new baby viruses. Both the honey and the black seed have, um, have an effect on the enzymes in these proteins. So they slow down the rate of multiplication of the virus and also the number of viruses that will be produced. And so you got that in this little seed, you got the, um, th this, this antiviral effect. Vitamin C, we know, is a um, radical scavenger. So you have radical uh, chemicals that are floating around and vitamin C has a tendency to take those radical, those, ra those free radicals out of the picture. One of the other things that come out of the black seed is it decreases inflammation. The cyclooxygenase and the lipooxygenase both um, are decreased with the black seed, which decreases uh, inflammation in the cells. Take the information that I've given you, um, look at the articles, take these things into your primary care physician and discuss uh, black seed honey with your primary care physician in terms of uh, prevention and also treatment of uh, COVID-19. Well, I know that was a lot of information. Uh, think about it, review it, and we'll see you next week. <music>